Well, Jan, thanks for joining us on I Follow Ipswich. You'll be absolutely buzzing with that. Yeah, no, really buzzing. Um, good to get an assist and two goals, but again, another good performance from everyone on the pitch. Uh, taking what we've done in the week in training into the game again and obviously got the three points. How impressive was that as a collective in the first half? Yeah, no, it was really good. We kept the ball well, we were patient. Um, there was times where we did give the ball away and cause our own mistakes and I think maybe for the, their goal, but now we, we kept on there trying to do the right things and that's what we've got to do. The gaffer said try and play out, try and play the way we train training in the week, so that's what we try to do today. How important is it that you're that clinical in front of goal? Because it makes things so much easier for you, doesn't it? Yeah, no, it is. Um, <laughs> I say that, I think Friday, Thursday, I think in training I missed a few. Um, but then, yeah, obviously when you go into the match day, you've got to be to make sure you put them away so yeah, that's what I tried to do today and I've put two away and even even best scoring as well and like getting the assist it was, it was a good overall performance. Before we look at your goals and, and Bish's as well the skipper leading by example what a strike that was? It's unbelievable I think he's running off saying it's the best goal he's ever scored but um, no nah, he was he's unbelievable again he's, he's playing in right back and doesn't look out of place he's, he's played very well he gets defends he gets high of the pitch and the ball, the ball to me, like, I have to watch it back, but it, it looked unbelievable to find me and pick me out from that position. But um, no, nah, he's he's got him back post again, and he's uh, the, I think you you can say the volley's unbelievable. It's in the top corner, isn't it? But yeah, no, nah, it's everyone everyone done well again, and we've got to take on to the next game. Given Chambo some credit for for a wonderful pass on your second goal, but your touch, mate, unreal. Yeah, no. Nah, um, as I just said, I can't. In the moment, you don't really think about it. It's just I seen him looking to try and bring the diagonal. Obviously, made the run for him, but for him to pick it out like that, the, the ball's perfect. And then, obviously, my touch sets me up to, to score the goal. If I have a bad touch, then he probably comes back and gets it. So it sets me up nice to put it away. And getting the job done in games this season, it's fair to say. But does a win like this give you even more confidence? Just just how emphatic it was. Yeah, no, it does. It's um, so it's nice, especially away from home. It's a long way to come, and yeah. to go back now with three points in this long journey is, is even better. But yeah, we're, we're growing in confidence. There's still more to come, and we can't stop improving. We've got to improve every day on the training pitch, and then going to the game on the Saturday or Tuesday, whenever it is, keep improving, trying to pick three points up. And I think that's what you got to do every, every day in training. We move on now. It's gone. And we go on to the next one. Yeah, the tunes banging out in, in the dressing room. Everyone's obviously bouncing around after a win like this. No one's going to get carried away, but you're all very confident. You're all really buzzing. Yeah, no, no one's, no one's going to get carried away, but I think it's good to have that team spirit and you've got to celebrate them wins in the moment. And then come Monday, Tuesday, when we're back in training, it's forgotten about and we're focused on the next game and we go again. Yeah. On a personal note, how much are you enjoying your football, playing in that position? No, I'm really enjoying it and um, if I'm on the right and I think first I've swapped over to the left a few times and obviously got my chance to start on the left since pre-season and no, I think obviously it's the other lads who've picked me out, we've worked on phases of play in the week and and today has come off and I think the goals come from phases of play we do in the week and we put into the Saturday and I get my goals, get rewards from it. No one cares if we're top of the league now, we all want to be top of the league or, or up there in May. But looking at that, only unbeaten team in the league as well, got to feel your confidence. Yeah, no, nah, like I said, we've got, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but we are confident. We're going to grow again in confidence and keep improving. And every day in training, everyone individually and as a team, we're looking to improve. And I think that's how we're going to, we're going to do for the rest of the season. We're not going to switch off and yeah. we carry on improving and hopefully we get the results on Saturday then. Obviously, everyone's delighted with the win. Be even more special with with the away crowd there, wouldn't it? We're missing them. Yeah, no, nah, it's just saying in there to the lads, like obviously scoring, and then you're running off thinking how good it is to score, and you've got no one to celebrate with. Yeah. But uh, yeah, normally you're running off to the to the byline, celebrating the fans and your teammates, but you just got your teammates. So nah, hopefully they're all watching at home and following us, and hopefully they're back in soon to support us.